All right, man, peace. All right, so now this is going to be a very unfortunate story about a young so-called black woman from New York who decided that she was going to go and get butt implants. I'm guessing because she felt insecure about whatever the backside was that the Lord gave her wasn't good enough. So she decided that she was going to go get some type of surgical procedure performed on her backside. Let's see what happens. Thank you, Tony. New at 11 now, a, Bron a Harlem woman underwent a cosmetic procedure and then became fatally ill soon after. And now questions are surfacing over the practice where the procedure was done. I think she most likely was, uh, was very ill before the procedure, mentally ill. All right. Like a lot of these so-called liberal females are uh, always running around trying to blame everybody else for their self-image issues. Let me say this, and I'm most likely going to repeat this throughout the video. You know, you see a lot of these females on the Internet and they're always talking about body shaming and and uh, how people don't don't like them because of their skin complexion and and uh, their body shape and yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is a conundrum that the liberal woman has created for herself for the most part. All right. The liberal so-called black woman, especially, is the one who has decided that. She's going to make her so-called skin color an issue. I'm sorry, but attractive people have no problem um, getting attention and, and getting mates, no matter what their skin color is. You know, so when I see these females running around talking about how uh, people try to uh, denigrate them or demean them because of their dark skin color, I'm sorry. You most likely are getting denigrated or you can't get a man and you can't keep a man because you're ugly on the inside. All right. That's the main problem. You're ugly on the inside. Uh, you have a poor diet. You're wearing clothes that don't match your body type. Uh, you're disrespectful. And most likely you're ungrateful. You know, I, have a, I, had a, I have a video that I did about Serena Williams. One of my first, I think it was the first video that I did about Serena Williams. And it was when she got engaged to Alexis Ohanian, her... Uh, her mate, her partner, her fiance, who also happens to be a Caucasian, so-called Caucasian. Uh, I don't care because I don't care about Serena Williams. Uh, the main reason why I report on Serena Williams is because the liberal media has set her up as a goddess. And I, and I like to see so-called black men be informed about this. Right. Brothers, a lot of times don't understand that the news is created with a narrative to promote things subconsciously. All right. And the reason why I made the video about Serena Williams and her original engagement is because I saw so many black men upset about it. Like Serena Williams never wanted you. And that's the main thing. A lot of brothers don't know how to face reality. And it's because they're being raised in homes with too much feminine energy. Right. Women don't like reality. They like delusion. And a lot of so-called black men have taken on that mentality because they're being raised around women with female energy. So it was important to make that video about Serena Williams to establish the brothers that know she didn't she doesn't want you. She never wanted you. I saw men say, well, she dated she dated Common and she dated Jackie Long. And look, let me tell you something. Um, those were her homegirls, if you know what I'm saying. All right. And, I, and I'll leave it at that. All right. So you saw Serena Williams with them because those were her homegirls. But anyway, back to this story. Point being is this. Uh, one of the main reasons why modern day women have so many body issues is because they refuse to dress properly. They refuse to dress respectfully to themselves and to the people around them. Uh, their goal when they leave the house is to get as much attention as possible. Their goal is to remain children as long as possible for the most part. Right. For the women who don't embody that, you shouldn't be offended. If you are offended, it's because I'm talking about you. That's why you're mad, because I'm talking about you. CBS 2's Valerie Castro spoke with a woman's heartbroken brother. 31-year-old Letitia... And this is a mother silly shit. What's, what's with these broads and this... What is this? Uh, Snapchat? All these broads with this flower crown. What is this dumb shit, man? Every broad sending you a picture got a goddamn flower crown on. And, 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 and light blue eyes. You notice that? Oh, uh, brothers, the so-called strong black woman, she always sending you a goddamn Snapchat picture where she got crystal blue eyes. But supposedly everybody else is lynched and and has color issues and yada, yada, yada. But all these broads taking pictures with it and they got crystal blue eyes. What the 
fuck out of here with that bullshit. Tisha Bynum's death is under investigation after police sources say a cosmetic procedure she underwent may have taken her life. Sources tell CBS2 Bynum paid for injections in her buttocks somewhere in this building on East 21st Street. In now, how, how insecure must you be to go to an office and say, you know what, I want you to stick a needle in my ass and put a foreign substance in my ass or take fat from another part of my body and put it in my ass? Hmm? How insecure must you be? How pathetic must you be? And don't try to blame that shit on men. All right? There's a lot of flat ass having chicks that, that, that are getting men or have a man. All right? And this woman, as they're going to report later on, has two children. So her focus was not her children. Her focus was who's the next man that she could attract? Who's the next strange dude that she could attract and bring into her home and have around her children? All right? Who knows? Maybe the Lord killed her because if he hadn't killed her, she would have brought a strange dude around the children and the dude would have killed the children. Who knows? Maybe that happened so that the Lord could preserve the kids. Reading Kipps Bay. Though the building appears to be strictly residential, Bynum's brother claims his sister was under the care of doctors who she'd seen for other procedures before. Oh, so in other words, she was a black Kim Kardashian. You know, a lot of times the so-called black woman... They like to go on and on about these non-black women who are getting ass implants and supposedly it's because they want to look like the black woman. And look, don't get it twisted. Yes, a lot of women of other races do want to replicate the, uh, you know, the features and the physiological uh, features that the black woman has, whether it be, you know, uh, wide hips or large ass or whatever you want to call it. Yes, that's true. That's because the so-called black woman is the original, just like the so-called black man is the original. People always are drawn to the original. But that's all the more reason why you should not be insecure about your features, whatever they are. Right? You just got to learn how to live with it. Supposedly, they're supposed to be strong black women, allegedly. But they're always the ones out there getting ass shots. I, mean, I guarantee you if, you, were to, if you were to grade on a scale, all right, on a scale, if you were to link up their income with the amount, with the percentage of women getting uh some type of, of, of cosmetic procedure done. The black woman is high up on that scale. All right. Running around getting ass implants. I wonder what this woman's profession was. Four. They had their licenses. They supposed to know. Look, no disrespect to this brother. Um, no disrespect to him. Just looking at, at him and looking at his doorway and looking at what appears to be their apartment. I'm going to assume that this is his apartment because he has the door open and he's holding it open. All right, I'm, I'm going to assume that if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if, you know, if the the layout of the apartment is consistent with their income, she should not have been spending any money on uh, on cosmetic procedures. All right. That's assuming that she lived with him and, you know, so on and so forth. But they don't look like the, the they don't look like they're at the financial strata where you can afford to be spending a bunch of money on cosmetic procedures. Now, who knows? Maybe she lives on her own and maybe she has an income where she can afford that. I doubt it, though, because when you see the facility that she was going to, it looked like some rundown hood rat third rate facility. Even more reason why she should have just took a flat ass home and said, you know what? Let me just take care of my two kids. They know what they're doing. This is a tragic incident. Bynum had the alleged procedure done on July. And as you can see. In that picture on the left, if you can see it, uh, there's a couple tattoos peeking out the front of her shirt. So no disrespect. Uh, the sister was, you know, has to, if she wasn't a hood rat, she has some hood rat inclinations. All right. A lot of these young women make terrible decisions day after day after day after day. They're never held accountable for them. And when they are held accountable for them, uh, it's called a tragedy. A lot of times it's just judgment. Okay. Now, this is why, you know. This is why we have to look at it as an as an unfortunate situation and something to learn from. But a lot of these so-called black women are hard headed. They're proud, arrogant, stubborn, and they don't like to listen. All right? And this is why, unfortunately, some of these situations happen. All right? If the Lord gave you a flat ass, he gave you a flat ass. Do some squats. All right. Put down a hamburger. Maybe some of that meat will go from your gut to your ass. You know, do some sit ups. Go outside and run around the block. Don't run around the block to get your lotto tickets in. All right? Run around the block to get some exercise. 
by 15th. Her brother says later that same day she was... Look at that. These, another, another, these chicks with their selfie shit. And they duck face shit. <laughs> I don't understand. How many pictures can you take of yourself? I know that you know how you look already. You can tell this chick was a social media star or wannabe social media celebrity. That most likely is why she was getting them ass shots to attract men uh, in the real world and also on social media. All right. She's probably looking for some guy to save her. She was hospitalized. Some simp to save her. After the procedure, um, something was wrong with my sister. I think her feet and stuff was blue. She went to the hospital and she couldn't breathe, basically. And whatever was in her went to her head. She brain dead and she had zero chance to basically come back from it. You know, that's a very unfortunate thing. But um, I don't understand why you want a foreign substance inside of your body. You have to have very, very low self-esteem. All right. Very low self-esteem. And like I've said before, these uh, many of these so-called black women, they come on the Internet and they try to blame black men for their low self-esteem and their body issues. You know, the reason why you have body issues is because you're trying to compete with other women. Don't blame the black man for that, the so-called black man for that. All the so-called black man is going to do in his simplicity is judge you like he's at a car show. You're out showing your ass off. Of course, he's going to judge you. All right. Most of you women in America, especially are overweight. All right. Borderline obese. Many of you like and That's another thing before it slips my mind. You see a lot of these so-called black women. Why do black men like uh, uh, fat white women? Well, you have to ask, why do black men like fat black women? Because uh, the so-called black woman is the most obese of any woman. All right. These are facts. Just in general, in America, the women of all races are obese. Why is that? Because the foods are flooded with, with uh, all type of chemicals. And most of these women are eating inordinately. They're eating, they have a poor diet. It's not balanced. They don't eat vegetables and they don't, they're not getting enough physical exercise and movement. They spend most of their day at work in a sedentary job position, whether it be a secretary or even if they're uh, uh, at a high level within corporate America, they're sitting at a job all day. All right, then they then they go out to eat, uh, to lunch, and they're they're normally eating very unhealthy foods, and they're accompanying they're accompanying their meal with alcohol. All that makes fat and excessive weight stick to your body. Now their body's misshapen, but they still want to keep up with the Joneses. They want to wear tight fitting outfits, and they look ridiculous. All right, a lot of them walk around looking like a damn stuffed sausage, and a tight ass outfit. Damn outfit, look like it's all spandex, looking like a damn superhero. But that's the main problem. But like I said, you got these women. Why do black men like fat white women? The so-called black man likes pussy. Okay? That's what he likes. So-called black man likes pussy. So you see him with fat white women, fat black women, fat Hispanic women, skinny Chinese women, slim Arab women. The black man likes vagina. All right? It's not about fat white women, fat black women, fat. You're going to see the black man with all type of women because the so-called black man is a damn pussy hound. That's part of his problem. But anyway. She was taken off life support last Thursday. Friends and family held a vigil outside her childhood home in the Bronx. The medical examiner hasn't yet determined the cause or manner of Bynum's death. But the cause of death was being insecure and being a jackass. I could tell you that. I could write that on the death certificate. She's insecure and a jackass. She had two children. That's what's supposed to have been on her mind. She's 32 years old. I, I could almost see it if she was 19 or 20 and she didn't have any kids. And, you know, she was trying to get through college. You know, that's the excuse. And she have she was stripping and she said, well, you know, I got to get I got to get a bigger ass to attract more clients for this, you know, get more money. Then I could almost say, OK, at least there was a method to her madness, even though she was mad. All right. When I say mad, I mean insane. I don't mean angry. But. The broad is 32 years old with two kids, and you worried about getting ass shots? Get the fuck out of here, man. Her family is convinced it was criminal. And at the end of the day, my sister needs some type of justice. Period. Letitia Bynum's family says she would have turned 32 years old this past Sunday. She leaves behind two young children. Look at that dumb shit. Was, going, was about to turn 32 years old on Sunday. I guess she was trying to get herself some ass shots for her birthday so that she can go up in the club and rub it up on some nigga right after damn Juve. 
right? And look at where she's at now. But anyway, brothers, please, man. This is why I always stay on top of you, brothers, to um to please monitor the type of woman that you're with. Uh, you see a woman like that, the first thing that she's going to try to do is dig in your pockets, man. You don't let no bra like that dig in your pockets. You dig her out and you send her on her fucking way. But anyway, it is what it is. Peace.